updating prices using NetPricer. Starting in the summary area, all of the items are shown for this takeoff, regardless of which phase they came from. To run the price update, we need to select the correct vendor that we wish to obtain prices from, in this case, Graybar, and then click OK at the prompt. Back in the top toolbar, let's go over to the NetPricer icon and click the drop down arrow next to it, and then select Price Update. IntelliBid then goes out to the internet to fetch the prices from Graybar. Notice in the message that it says that the net pricer update process is complete. You must recalculate the takeoff in order to apply the updated prices. Any prices shown in purple were not updated by net pricer. It also offers a report that we can view to see what actually went on with this update. Click yes to exit the prompt. A net pricer report appears that shows how many items were priced, how many items were not priced, and everything that went on with the price update. Close the window when you're done. Next, we need to go back to the top toolbar and click the green recalculate button to bring in the new prices. Before we click OK, we just want to be mindful of the prices already there. And then we will click OK. Notice that the total material price actually went down a bit. I can also cross reference with the price edit date. Notice that most of our items are showing today's price, or the day that I ran the update, letting me know that these prices are current. There might be items in purple as the previous notification prompt said. In this case, the protection plate is in purple. That means that item did not get a new price. We might ask why it did not get a new price. This is generally when we would call our supplier, in this case Graybar, and let them explain why this item did not get a price update. In many cases, it is something as simple as the UPC code getting changed. Our universal pricing code might not be the same code that they're showing in their database. And that's how you run a price update with NetPricer. Thanks for watching this Conest tip video. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more tips and to keep up to date with Conest software systems.